So I'm actually currently editing the video right now. This video probably would have made a lot more sense to come out a couple weeks ago, but better late than never. Enjoy. 1,419 days. A little over three and a half years. It's been a long time coming, but Peak Shonen is finally back. And it's looking like it's gonna stay for a little while. My name is Josue, welcome to the Panic Brothers channel. Hunter Hunter is back, baby, and let's just get into it. <laughs> the wait between chapters 390 and 391 of Hunter Hunter was long enough to see major world events happen before our eyes. We had the changing of United States presidents, the passing of the Queen, the deaths of world-renowned mangakas. I mean, hell, I even graduated during that time. And I'm on my third full-time job ever since Chapter 390. And I know many fans have experienced some sort of graduation or marriage or even had kids during the series' longest-running hiatus to date. I too first experienced Hunter x Hunter and said hiatus. I took a long break from anime for pff, years. And one day during work in 2019, I decided, what the hell? I want to go back into this. I opened up Netflix. Because Netflix is apparently the best place to watch anime. <laughs> Idiot. And when I typed in anime in the search bar, there it was. Hunter x Hunter. So you know what, maybe I'll give Netflix a pass, because honestly, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for Netflix, so... I've heard of Hunter x Hunter since probably high school, which was when the anime was originally airing, but I knew literally nothing about it. The first couple of episodes were alright, I mean, I would watch the show intermittently as I would go to the gym, but there was something about seeing a 12-year-old boy rip a serial killer's heart out in the middle of a life-or-death tournament that kind of got to me. I was a big fan of the series since then. I'd watch as much as I could, but I remember one day I opened up Instagram and I saw a post saying what the four best anime transformations of all time were. You had the original Super Saiyan on that list, Ichigo's Vasto Lord form, Naruto Sage Mode, and Gon as an adult. This is a huge spoiler for me. But you know what? I saw that post when I was first going through, I think, Greed Island when Gon was first developing a hot suit to use. So here I am thinking, oh, Gon's just gonna turn into an adult as his hot suit. Dope, that's his transformation, that's his Super Saiyan. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> you know, just something like GT Goku transforming into Super Saiyan 4. Because Hunter x Hunter is just like Dragon Ball. Ah, right, so boom, Gon is gonna learn how to turn into an adult at will. I'm hype. So I'm watching, and I'm watching, and I'm watching, and I get to, what, episode 120? And bro hasn't learned how to turn into an adult at will yet. Like, when is that gonna happen? I only have 28 episodes left to go. <laughs> I get to episode 126, Netsuro versus Meruem. I finished that episode believing not only was that the best episode of Hunter x Hunter by far, but probably one of the best episodes of any anime I've ever watched in my life. Ever. But then, five episodes later. Gon versus Pito. Or rather, Adult Gon versus Pito. <laughs> to this day, after having watched many, 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 many anime since then, I cannot lie, I still believe episode 131 is the best episode of anime of all time. I, listen, like, it's good stuff. It's good television. Like, what do you want to do? After watching the 2011 series, we did a video on this channel going through my thoughts on the series, and it's still one of the better videos we've ever put on here. Since then, I've watched the 2011 series twice, once with my partner and once with my mom, who surprisingly loves the series. I've started the 1999 series. I've read the manga twice. I've played a crappy PSP game made of the series, which one day on this channel I'll cover. Just not right now. I even watched the movies and made reviews of them. My quick thoughts, watch the first one, skip the second one. I'm going on a ramble right now, but what I essentially want to get to is Hunter x Hunter gets better every single time I go through the series. Whether manga or anime, Hunter x Hunter is a story that has stood the test of time. 
As of right now, it joins One Piece as the only two manga still running in Weekly Shonen Jump from the 1990s. <laughs> what? Which means that in a different universe, Hunter x Hunter could have easily been over a thousand chapters by now. Okay, it probably wouldn't be over a thousand chapters, but at the same time, we are 400 chapters deep in this story. And there's still a lot more story to tell. As of this current moment, we're still going through the Succession War arc, which has a lot more left to go through. After what we can only assume to be the final showdown between Karapaka and the fourth prince Tyridnik, to duke it out over the last of the Scarlet Eyes, we gotta shift over to Hisoka versus the Phantom Troop, and then the Black Whale will land on the fake continent, where we're going to meet the Guardian of the Dark Continent. And then we need to get to the Dark Continent, where Beyond Netero will do whatever Beyond Netero is going to do, and then Parison has his 5,000 Chimera Ant army that he's going to, I don't know, unleash on the Hunter Association? And then Ging will do... Ging stuff! <laughs> Leorio also has a part to play in this story, and I'm gonna bet all of my money that by the end of Hunter Hunter he's going to be the chairman of the Hunter Association. Kodapika will most likely die, sadly, and Gonestone needs to meet Gyro who is currently what, the king of Meteor City? But Gon has no Nen right now so how's he gonna take on Gyro? And where's Killua? Like how's Killua gonna get back into this? I mean I know there's not really much story left to tell about him, but at the same time, he has to come back into this somehow. There's so many parts of the story that we're all dying to know, and Yoshihiro Tagashi, you know, despite his health problems, it seems like he's pretty committed to telling this story all the way through. Which is good because no other manga is hitting me the way that Hunter x Hunter does. Except for maybe One Piece, but One Piece doesn't count. That's also peak fiction. No other manga makes me stop and pause and cry and smile and laugh the way that I do for Hunter x Hunter. The way Kurapika took one last look at the group and said, I've been blessed with good friends. Meru and Komogi's final conversation as they await their deaths. That double spread showcasing just how dangerous the Dark Continent really is. This manga, this anime, it's truly something special. And I swear to god, this video could be several hours long if I talk about every single little detail on why this manga is special. But just know that I'm just really happy that Hunter x Hunter is back. Shonen Jump definitely needed it, but we the fans also pretty much needed it too. Peak Shonen has returned, let's be happy it's here and hopeful that it's staying for the long run. I'll see y'all in the Dark Continent. Except I'm probably going to be making a lot more Hunter x Hunter videos in between, so... Uh, maybe I'll see... I'll see y'all in the, in the Black Whale? Sounds stupid. Uh, I'll just... I'll just... I'll see y'all later. <laughs>